so I saw a post on Facebook the other day, and I wanted to address it. And basically, um, a friend, someone on my friends list, who's a, a DJ producer, he said, um, "I don't know why I do this. I always seek validation from other DJs, producers about my music, and when it's negative, it ruins my day. Anyone else do this, or is it just me?" And it's not just you. It's it's pretty much the majority of producers. The thing with it is, is that we we love what we do, right? Anything as a producer, <clears throat> anything you do, you love what you're doing. You, this, this is often your production is your baby, right? You'll hear this all the time. Every producer will tell you this. This is my baby. I, as a mixing engineer, I get told it all the time. Like people send me their stuff and they say to me, this is my baby, look after her kind of thing. That's that's how people feel about, about their music. So when someone doesn't like it, it's it's almost it's the same as you posting a picture of what your your newborn baby and someone saying she's ugly. You know, it's it's very similar to that, and you will take offense to that. The the difference is is whether it's constructive or not. Now I said to the guy, look, nine times out of ten. The people who are not constructive about it are, are, are generally jealous. Um, I've always found with, like, I'm not a producer, but I know lots and lots of producers. So whenever someone's negative about something, and I'll listen to it from a from a from a totally professional perspective as a mixing engineer, and I'll be like, "Yeah, sounding great. There's nothing technically wrong with it, right?" But someone will say, oh, this and this and this and this. And it's not, that's not correct, right? Because there's no one definitive way that all these pieces of music should be should be produced. Like another thing I said to the guys, look, it's art. What you're doing, what you're doing when you make music, it's art. And art is subjective, right? This person's not going to like it. This person's going to love it, right? Now, what I always say is if you love it, there's always going to be someone else that loves it. There's, there's, you just, you, you will always find someone that will love what they're, what they're hearing or what you're into because you're into it. You're not, you're not, a, you're not a zero 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 point one percent of the per population kind of thing. Um, you're, you're, you know, if you like it, someone else is going to like it. Um, you know, obviously sometimes there's really bad, terrible music that fundamentally is wrong. And if that is the case, and someone highlights, you know, you are, that vocal is out of key, that's a fundamental aspect of the song that is wrong, um, that is definitively wrong and should be changed. But, you know, these sorts of things, <coughs> they they should be changed. And that's not part of, part of like an artistic process too much because because it is fundamentally wrong you don't want something out of tune or out of um out of key for instance um there's not much intention in that um that's maybe just because you haven't heard it because let's face it when you hear a song a thousand times ten thousand times the same part because you're producing the song you you do become um what would be the word you do become kind of um just not not as uh in into that that sound you 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 can miss things based on the fact that you've heard it so many times and your brain just gets used to it sounding wrong that it then sounds right and that's a very natural thing to do um i'm sure as producers listening to this you've woken up in the morning and listened to a song that you've been producing all night you wake up in the morning you go that sounds absolutely terrible. And that's because your brain has just got so used to ha how it sounds that when you listen to it fresh, that's when you can really make the right decisions because you go, oh, right, okay, yeah, that's wrong. And you can hear it. That's why it's so good for engineers like myself um, to mix producers' tracks because we hear it from a fresh perspective. Um, so yeah, to, to kind of summarize on this, this guy just kind of, uh, there's, there's, there's criticism and then there's just saying something because generally speaking, people, they're, they're quite jealous of what you've done. Um, 
So like constructive criticism is, is great. It's great to get constructive criticism. You've got to learn as a producer, if you can't take constructive criticism, um, you've got to learn how to take it. And it is very difficult. Um, and I hated taking constructive criticism. I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. I hate it. Because the reason I hate it is because, like I said before, is it's art. And I, I, this is how I intend it to sound. I don't intend it to sound how you want me to sound. I intend it to sound how I want it to sound. Um, so when you tell me that it, you prefer something a, a different way, it's like, well, I don't intend it to sound like that. I intend it to sound like this. So <coughs> that's the way I'm making it sound. So, you know, but there is, there is constructive criticism when it comes to, um, things that are fundamentally wrong and um things like something out of sync out of time things like that um you know too much boom in your bass and things like that and there are things that people can constructively tell you that you go you listen to it from a fresh perspective listening to that detailed um part that someone else has highlighted and you listen to it and you go oh yes you're right because there is a fundamental yes and no answer to that it is a factual thing where um someone can say to you that is out of time and it's not a subjective thing it's either out of time or it's in time so th things like that are very constructive where you can look at it from a fresh perspective and actually take that on and go yeah okay yeah cool but when people say mm, i don't like that sound or i don't like that sound it's like so what don't listen to it then I'm not making it for the masses. I'm making it because this is this is how I intend it to sound. And if if you don't like it, go listen to something else. This guy might like it. And if he don't like it, he'll go listen to something else. Um, I think um, one thing um, you'll find uh, is the people. It's very very easy to listen to something. Like, let's say we're listening to a song on YouTube. It's very easy to listen to a song on YouTube. This is from my perspective. I can listen to a song on, on YouTube, for instance, sit there, listen to it, and go, nah, it's rubbish, don't like it, right? But it's got millions of views and millions of likes, but that's me. I just don't like it. It's, it's, it's nothing to do with whether that song's good or bad. It's just, it's not for me. I don't like it. So I move on. What you'll find is there's certain people will, they'll watch, listen to a song on YouTube, for instance, and then they'll type a comment going, I don't like it. Well, so what if you don't like it? No one cares if you don't like it. The fact that you've gone out your way to leave a comment or a dislike tick to it to say you don't like it is subjective. You're not, it, 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 no song is going to be liked by everyone. And, the, the the people that like it will like it they'll listen to it and then they'll they'll move on the people that don't like it i never see the point in not liking something and then writing a comment to say you don't like it so what if you don't like it if you don't like it after 10 seconds move on next video go go elsewhere because if you don't like it <coughs> what's the point of what i don't get the point of, of writing a comment to say you don't like it it's such a subjective thing that if if you don't like it, it doesn't matter, right? Other people will like it. So to summarize on this, don't really don't care what other people think, right? If other people say to you they don't like your music, then they don't like your music. Not every, nobody's gonna like nobody has 100 percent positive feedback on a song, right? And if they do, they're having smoke blown up there. What's it? It's not it's not a case of something's good and bad. Obviously a song can be very bad and there are lots of songs that are very, very bad, but don't fall into the trap of letting people who are sometimes jealous of what you've achieved, bring you down to their level because they're not achieving what you're achieving. Don't let them do that. Right. Hope this was helpful. Don't forget, like, subscribe, watch all the other videos, do all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, post another video soon.